When you first launch into Warzone, you are greeted by a video that we've already seen over on Twitter. And while this video is cool, I wish that we really could have gone with some other cutscene. I realize that a lot of these things take a lot of time, but it's just not that exciting when we've already seen it on Twitter. And not everyone's seen it, but it is what it is. Either way, we're also greeted with Operation Monarch. On here, you can see that we get to fight the Titans. Godzilla and King Kong are unleashed on the island. Be wary. The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in control. We also get to see that we have this new Titan Scream device. It's going to allow you to utilize the abilities that King Kong and Godzilla both have. It says Monarch has set up camp to research the Titans, collect intel from kills, contracts, crates, or by shooting the Titans to gain a Titan Scream device kill streak capable of directing the Titan's wrath. Lastly, we have the Titan Frenzy. The Titan Scream device is still a prototype and can send the Titans into a deadly frenzy. Stagger the Titans with heavy weaponry and Monarch may compensate you. Now, before we end up getting into the game, I feel like it's great to mention that the skins that came with this mode were so fantastic. We got the King Kong skin, we got the Godzilla skin, and we got the Mecha Godzilla skin, and all those are fantastic. Also, why did Godzilla get two skins? What the heck's going on here? But we get all of this, and we're greeted by all the things that come with Operation Monarch. You get these cool calling cards and stuff like that. We also get this weapon skin for completing all of the Operation Monarch missions. Once we finish all that, we hop into the game. That's the most important thing is let's get into the game and let's see how it actually is. When we get into the game, it seems really exciting. And again, I wanted to love this mode, but I got to say it should have been an event. We're going to end up dropping a peak because that's what we do. It's the best place to drop in my personal opinion, but we are going to end up dropping a peak just because that's where you should go in most cases because it is resurgence, which means you come back no matter what, as long as your full team doesn't get wiped. So land at peak, land at dock, land at lagoon. These are going to be your hot spots, and it's absolutely what I recommend you do. However, after one or two games, you're going to get bored of this. And let me tell you why. When you drop in, you're going to grab your guns, you're going to grab everything that you need, and you're going to feel like you're doing the right thing. But the truth of it is, you're just shooting an AI for a really, really long time. And let me tell you, that is not the most fun thing to do. You can grab as many weapons as you want, and it's going to be great for the first game. After you get your gas mask, after you get your satchel, after you get your heavy weapon drop, after you get your loadout, and after you get the scream device, there's really nothing else to do. However, I will say I did have fun for the first game. It was a great, great time. And that's why I keep saying I highly recommend that when they do things in the future, they make these things into events. They get hype built and then it's a one and done thing. You can't do it or anything like that after, let's say, even 24 hours. That would be fantastic. Let's just do a 24 hour game mode. For the first hour, you can't do anything other than this game mode. And then after that, you're good to go about your business and you play whatever game mode you want to. I ended up hopping into this mode with three other people and these guys were ridiculously disgusting at the game, which is fantastic, but it's not really gonna make a difference because from what I can tell, it seems like there's not really any skill-based matchmaking in this mode. And no, before you ask, there's not like VPNs or anything on. It really does just feel like there's nothing going on. If you are going to hop into the mode, I highly recommend that you hop in with a team and you try and have a bit of fun. I will say this does seem to be a great game mode for racking up eliminations. And what I would do if I were you is shoot at the big King Kong, shoot at the big Godzilla, and then rack up those monarch points or whatever the heck they're called and try to get these new items. And another cool thing is, is when you're shooting at the enemy, it actually gives you something called overdrive, which is gonna make you move a lot faster. So you end up getting to be a super soldier for just a second. Also, whenever you pick up the Monarch points off of someone's dead body, it automatically plays you, which I think was a fantastic addition to this game mode. I think the best thing we can do is go ahead and talk about what they could have done better. That way, when they do this in the future, we have no more issues like this. In my personal opinion, as I've said throughout this, I highly recommend that Warzone goes ahead and makes things like this into events. If they were to turn this into an event and they turned it into something maybe at the max 24 hours long, this would have went so much better. Knowing that this is going to go for two weeks kind of makes me nervous. They also took away iron trials for this, which is really upsetting. So I think that if they were to go ahead and leave in all the other playlists, even if they were an LTM, it would be much better. Additionally, while we're in the match, it feels like King Kong and Godzilla really don't do that much fighting. They do a lot of fighting to the people on the island, but I'd love to see some sort of collaborative fight where they instead of fighting just us, they actually fight each other. So when we get to choose our side of who we want to win, they actually win. 
you can destroy Godzilla, you can destroy King Kong, but as it stands now, you simply cannot do that. I think the reason they chose to not do what I'm saying is because instead of it being an event, it's an LTM, which means that they wanted to be able to go on forever, which is kind of how they do things like zombies. So again, we end up in a situation where it being an LTM really is hurting it more than it is helping it. Past that, after we get into the game, there is not a single cutscene. There is nothing exciting that happens other than just hopping in and shooting at an AI for 30 minutes. And I realize this might seem a little over the top to say that we shot at an AI for 30 minutes, but I'm telling you, it's basically a PvPvP engagement where while you can be shooting other teams, you're really going to be focusing on shooting Godzilla because you want to get that new stuff. But once you get that new stuff, there's nothing more. There's nothing more to it. There's nothing exciting that happens. The reality of the situation is, is you're really more likely to get hit by King Kong jumping on you on accident like well, I did. And while that was a little scary, it just wasn't that exciting. So if they're to redo modes like this, overall, I think what I'd like to see is just more engagement with the people they're playing the match. King Kong and Godzilla really just don't move. And I'd love to see movement. Let's get, you know, ninja style. Matt, just throw ninja in right there. I'm not seeing enough movement. But past that, I'd love to open it up to you. What do you all think? And how are you feeling about this game mode? I'd love to hear your thoughts and a comment down below. But other than that, if you enjoyed, I love it. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys have a great day.